That's the bite. Oh, there's a fish right here, bro. Right here, right here. He's right under my top water. Dude, what? He's right up on the pillar. He's, he's literally right there. What's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Today, we're running another topwater only challenge where we go out on the water, we only throw topwaters, and we try to get these big bass to bite. I'm pretty excited about this episode. We filmed a couple of these videos the last few weeks and we had a lot of fun. It's fun coming out here and just throwing one bait and knowing that you can't change to anything else, so you have to catch the fish on the bait that you're gonna be throwing. We have a few different topwaters with us today, which I'll show you guys once we get on the water. But we got the twin trollers out today. Got my boy Fletcher. Hey, let's right go here. guys. What's good, brother? And uh, got my man Yo. Cody behind us. So it's gonna be a fun day. We're just gonna put in on the water, try to catch these big fish. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, it is actually very cloudy today. You got a little bit of wind. It is actually very humid. It's been raining the last few days, but I'm thinking these fish are gonna bite. I'm hoping these clouds get these fish roaming a good bit. Especially, what are you gonna start with a walking bait or? Definitely a walking bait. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll start off with a walking bait, and then we get some other like little poppers or other baits that we can switch up to just in case they're not eating it. And we also have a bunch of different colors in the walking bait, so if they're not committing to one. And switch up to another one see if they'll eat the other color better but yeah as he was saying you know when it's cloudy outside these fish tend to roam a lot more so we might get on a really good bite but the only way to find out is to hop on the boat and get it started so let's get it all righty let's get it started so this lake two guys one thing i didn't say we have never been out here so this is the first time ever being on this lake in the boat so i'm kind of excited about it um, Fletcher said the biggest one he's caught out of here is seven pounds so we know there's some big fish in here and if the big ones are roaming today I don't know if you saw that did you see that Fletcher what there's a little tree over there bait fish just start popping they just start splashing out. yeah a bunch of bait fish like lining this bank right here too yeah so I'm hoping you know we end up going down this bank and you know you have all these tree lines I'm hoping we end up getting a school of bass that's just roaming up and down the bank and uh, that are going to blow up on this top water really good. So let's go ahead and show you guys the rod that I brought out today. And then I'm going to pull out one of my top water boxes, talk about the colors and why I would use them on a cloudy day versus a sunny day and get the casting and see if we can catch one. All right. So let's talk about the top water box that I brought out. And then I have a bait that I'm probably going to switch up to if they're not going to eat it. So what we're going to start off with today is a walking bait. So I got my whole walking bait box. It's actually full of sexy dogs by Strike King. If you guys want to get a discount on any Strike King lures, I actually have the link down below in my code. It's KTB10, 10% off the whole entire website. Holy cow. Let's go. That's a nice one, dude. Oh yeah, she's healthy. That's a healthy Probably fish. That, that is a really good sign. It kind of scared me. So a little background story too. Me and Cody came out here a few weeks ago and we tried to film the top order only challenge. And how many bites do we have, Cody? zero so that is just a great sign to see um, but yeah here's the top orders that we have all these sexy dogs so let's talk a little bit about the colors and when I would use them so today with it being overcast very cloudy outside I tend to use my bone colors my bones and my whites just like that so we're actually gonna set this one out I think that's what I'm gonna start off with if it's super sunny outside I tend to use like a chrome just like this one have that sun beam off that it reflects in the water very well you can go with some of your natural colors too just like this little translucent color little chartreuse stripe down the middle we also got like another chrome one here it's like a little sexy shad that can be a good one in the sun too and also this nude color which i've actually caught some big spotted bass on in the past that can be really good but when it's sunny i tend to use my chromes my natural colors when it's cloudy outside I go for more of my bones and my whites. That's just a rule in thumb of my top waters, and it's gonna help you catch more fish. What you'll notice if you come out here and you're throwing a walking bait or any top water, Dude, that's the color that the fish. Did you throw an X cast? I literally just an X cast that just hit the water and Dude. before it, I could even click my reel, it was a fish was on. You're getting me way too excited right now. <laughs> way too excited. What you'll notice is if you're throwing the wrong color top water. These bass that come up, they're either not going to hit it at all and just swirl on it, or they'll come up and totally miss the bait. Then you end up switching to a color that they want, and they start committing. So it's kind of important to know what colors to throw on which days. 
It's a very important thing to catch more bass when you're throwing top water. So let's go ahead and rig this thing up. So I have a sexy dog already on this rod. This is a Mach 2 combo rod and reel. I also have a code for the lose website. I have it linked down below, but I have this rigged up on braided line. A lot of people will ask, you know, Noah, do you use monofilament for your top waters? I always use braid. It's just my go-to. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this top water off tie on this bone one over here because it's cloudy out and get to work and see if we can catch one. Fletcher's had a few bites already so I'm kind of pumped. You guys are wondering what knot I'm tying. It's the same knot I always tie. Old uni knot. Favorite knot of all time. You can tie a polymer. It's a good knot as well but the uni it's just it's my go-to. Switched from the polymer to the uni years back. Probably about eight years ago. Boom. pow all right we're good to go guys let's start casting see if we can get a really big one to blow up on this thing today of course right when we're about to cast you notice what just happened the sun came out this happens every single time but we'll throw this bone one for a bit see what they do if we need to switch up we'll make it happen i'm ready to get it started today I might actually tie the other one on and just cut off real quick. So we just talked about, you know, throwing this on the cloudy days. Right when I cut the tag in on this, the sun just popped out, of course. So I'm actually gonna go back to this color right here. A little natural sexy shag color. Let's see if they'll eat this a little better. I just haven't had any bites, any nothing. I've seen a few blow ups here. So what I'm thinking in my head is like, oh, might be that color. So let's switch up and see if it, Helps us out any. All right, let's try out this color and see if it makes a difference. I should be night and day. Just didn't want to touch the other one. Gosh, that's the bite. That's the bite we've been waiting on. It's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's almost a four pound fish right there, baby. Almost a four pound fish. Freaking demolish that top water. Just changed over. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it to me. My knee's really messed up so I can't bend down on my right, right knee, long story. I injured myself. Look at that fish right there. <laughs> Sexy dog right in the top of his face. Man, that is wild. Cody, we just witnessed it live, brother. We're throwing that bone color. Nothing even looked at it. Picked up this new one right here. I think that was my second, maybe third cast. Just demolished it. And I'll tell you, you know, we have this bare bank over here, but the one thing that he was on was this cover. There was a big tree in the water. And I threw right on that tree, popped that thing a couple times, and he just came up and destroyed it. That is a solid three to three and a half pound fish right there. And that is an awesome way to start the day with a fish like that. There's fish jumping over there. Let's get this baby back in the water. That's a nice fish right there. It's got a huge head on him. His body could be a little bigger. Get this girl back in. Man, did that fish blow up on that top water. <laughs> Yo, what you think about that, Cody? That was a nice fish. Dude. That was what freaking you, awesome right there. I was like, it's all right. They were not getting any bites. So you're going to get a big one. It's going to happen. We just got us a freaking good one. So if you look at this bank that we were fishing, you know, there's a little bit of grass. I want you guys to notice one thing on that bank that just stands out. There's one little tree right up on that bank. You got all this grass, one little tree. That was a good blow up, dude. That noise that it made, too, that was just 
mean at that point. Yeah. Oh, did you see a blow? Up? Yeah, yeah. Right there. Money, dude. Ooh, I saw a blow up. Look at the look at him schooling on that bank down there. You see that? Way down there, they're just schooling. Right there, money. Oh my god. That's a good one, dude. That's another good one. I don't think he's as big as the first one, but he destroyed that thing. Hit it multiple times. Look at how he ate that sexy dog. Oh, baby. Look at that. That is exactly how you want a fish to eat it right there. Freaking choke that sucker. Oh man. This bite is so much fun, guys. Coming out here, throwing top water, watching these aggressive bass just dive over the top of it. You can't beat that. <laughs> Some very... <laughs> the nearest pliers. Cody, Cody just hands me a pair of pliers and just freaking crazy looking things. I will say they're not really rusted up as far as being able to move them. Oh, wow. I'll tell you, not as big as the first one, but that is a solid bass right there. Easy two and a half pounder, and they're freaking schooling again. Let's do this right here. At least that fish in the water. We're gonna pick up our rod. Let's see if we can catch one right here. Oh my God, my bait. That's what always happens. <laughs> this always happens when you're in a rush, guys, especially in top water fishing. It's like caught around my O-ring every time you're in a rush. All right, I really want you to see that. It's inside my O-ring. <laughs> I think we got a retie. Oh my gosh, and someone's calling me. Listen, the wrong time, boys and girls. Get right up in these trees. Boom. Oh my God. If I can get this cast. Oh. I'm not how I'm gonna get this. <laughs> Yo, I'm going crazy right now. Oh, it's a good one too. Not a bad fish, almost a three pounder. Holy cow, I can't believe this right now. Oh my gosh. My heart is racing, guys. My heart is racing. I'll do it. Just calm down so I can get you off. Please, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. That was one of the coolest topwater bites all year. Wow. What a freaking way to catch a bass right there. Threw right up under that tree. You know, somewhere where you wouldn't normally get to throw a topwater bait like that, a walking bait, treble hooks. Got it up in there, started working it, man. That fish destroyed it. That was one of the coolest bites all year. And a pretty bass, about a two pounder. Thank you, buddy. That was freaking so cool. That couldn't have been better. Give me some, Cody. Cody over here, give me some motivational talk. He's like, you can do it, dude. You can do it. So we caught a fish on this bank. You know, they've been popping some bait fish. We caught one under that tree and then we caught one over here. So, you know, my thing is, I think there's a bunch of fish roaming this bank chasing bait. So let's see if we can catch another one down this grass line. <laughs> like, he's small, but like they're, they're loaded on this bank. That, that is the cool thing about topwater fishing, especially right now with these clouds out. He's not bad. I thought he was a lot smaller. These fish stack up on each other. Dude, this fish is mean. 
I mean, still a two pounder, man. I thought he was like a pounder. Fish are munching. It's so glad to see. I'm telling you guys, me and Cody stayed out for three hours and threw a top water like a couple weeks ago and didn't even have a bite out here. Not on this lake, but another lake out here. Another two pounder. They're just roaming that bank in a little pack, eating bait fish, smacking top waters. How could it get better? Thank you, baby. See, they're roaming down that bank, but now they're on that side of the tree. They literally went from, from there to there to there. Now I should be able to throw right here on this grass. Let me fix my bait. They're literally doing exactly what we were saying. There's a roaming. Should be right here. <laughs> Can't make that up. They're literally roaming down this bank. God, they're not bad fish. I thought he was a lot smaller than that. What's our smallest one yet though? Let me know while we're filming this video, what is y'all's favorite top order to throw of all time? What do you guys have the most fun with? I love throwing a walking bait. That's a lot of fun, but I have to say maybe a frog is my favorite. There we go, little squeaker, but they just started roaming down that bank. They're running in schools, chasing these bait fish. They came right along right here. I kept seeing them pop under the trees. So I timed it. I was like, they're going down this bank through a cast at the edge over there. Boom, round his head. And so <laughs> these fish are munching. Awesome bite, right when I hit the water. Smallest one, I think. God, they fight so hard. I think I saved your life, Cody. How close was that? Was, close. was it coming like right towards the lens? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that could have been bad. This is a small one, quick, <laughs> a little quick release. I think we're gonna find them. So they're still schooling on that bank, and I know we could go over there and just start smoking them. But I kind of want to find some other fish along this bank. It's, it's weird, like you'll fish for 20 casts, you won't have a dang bite, and then all of a sudden you'll run into one and you run into another. You know, they're stacked up. Oh, there's a fish right here, bro. Right here, right here. He's right under my top water. Dude, what? It's a big and it's a different one. Oh my God. There's a whole school of them. That, that was a school right there. Oh my gosh. That was the coolest bite. Gosh. <laughs> what in the world? It's a three pounder, easy. Oh my gosh. The fish that I was mainly going for was only about a pound. And uh, that was crazy. I just happened to see a little bass running. He hit it, totally missed the bait. His buddy tried to get it, totally missed the bait. This big girl came up, just destroyed it. That was one of the craziest catches of the year so far. <laughs> that is awesome. This is a, probably my best top order day all year. Not big fish wise. I mean, we still caught some really good ones like that. It's a nice one. Thank you. I got a little mark. Man, that's such a pretty bass. That was one of the coolest bites all year. I'm gonna tell you that, that was just so cool. I, I don't understand, man. That fish destroyed it right at the boat. I can't bend down to let these fish go. Oh, there he goes. Cody, give me some on that one, brother. That was one of the craziest catches. I've witnessed in a very long time. Is he just roaming? He's on the right side of it, over there. Got branches in the way, isn't it? <laughs> you guys want to know something crazy about this one? Oh my gosh, he's going wild. Cody actually spotted this fish. We were about to go to a new spot over here. And Cody was like, dude, I think there's one on that point. Oh my gosh, it's better fish than I thought. Not a bad one, dude. It's a freaking high two, two pounder. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a really nice fish. Look at him eat that sexy dog. They're destroying that thing. These sexy dogs, these walking baits are a lot of fun. Like I said, you know, I have, have all the baits I use down in the description down below. 
got the website you can get them off of so if you guys want to try it yourself and if you guys end up getting yourself a sexy dog i would love for you guys to tag me on instagram i want to see the catches you guys get on it because this top water fishing is just so much fun i want to see one of you guys get a 10 pounder on that thing but that was a nice fish easy two and a half pounder nice job cody he spotted him for me pretty guy oh my gosh okay the lens is flawless <laughs> didn't get it Oh man. My, you mean my uh, deflection was flawless. Yeah. <laughs> he's right up on the pillar. He's, he's literally right there. Dude, that was one of the coolest catches of my life. What is going on? <laughs> we were literally sight fishing for these topwater bass. That was such a cool catch. This has to be one of the best videos we've filmed this year. I'm not even lying. This is just crazy. The top water bite, the fish are doing exactly what we're wanting them to for the first time in a long time, right, Cody? Yeah. Usually we go out and we try to film a specific bait and the fishes don't want to bite it, so. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, dude. We've had a few catches in today's video that's just like, man, some of the best catches I've ever had. Literally spotted that fish. The water's pretty clear out here. I looked right on that piling. I was like, kind of looks like a bass. Threw right there and he just demolishes it. Pretty one, two pounder. That's another thing. Oh my God, that was a horrible release. Another thing is like almost every fish we catch, there's not many that are below two pounds, like all solid fish. Guys, there's like a hundred dang fish right here. I ain't even playing. Watch this. Oh my God, I landed in the tree. Dude, there's like a hundred dang fish right there. <laughs> My bait's messed up. What is going on? There's so many of them. There's like a school of a hundred of them. Holy cow, dude. Look, they're under that tree. Dude, what is going on? I'm gonna lose my marbles. <laughs> Dude, I am gonna lose it, Cody. This is crazy. Yo, share this video with one of your friends. If this video flops, I'm gonna be mad because I've had so much fun in this video. This is the, cr oh my God, that's a big one. I didn't realize how big he was. Dude, that's a freaking big one, boy. Whole sexy dog. Fletcher, I don't know if you understand what's going on right now. Is just a huge Dude, I'm gonna be honest, Fletcher. This is probably my best day of fishing in a long time. <laughs> this is a dang good one, too. Yeah, that's a healthy one. He only looked like he's about a pound. That's a solid three something. He's yes, fat sir. as can be. That's a, that's a meat. <laughs> it's a meatball, isn't it? That's a meatball. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, bro, they might still be under that tree. Give yourself a catch. They, move? They, they were going down this bank. Oh, they're right there. They're right down there. Let's get this baby back. Dude, that was a good one. All right, boys and girls, I think we're going to have to end off this video. But let me tell you, that was a good time. One of my best days of topwater fishing in ponds in a very long time. I'll tell you that. Definitely a record day as far as like just cool catches. It was a crazy day out there and we caught a bunch of fish. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Check out my man's Fletcher down below. I and, appreciate uh, Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.